Welcome back. Our next guest, Barbara Zitwer, is a successful international literary agent from New York, and she's written two books with strong ties to the Kansas City area and the University of Kansas Hospital. One, a fictional romance novel. The other is a true story of Barbara's romance, courtship, and marriage, and then a health scare. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank now, you for having me. So you're usually promoting other folks' books as a literary agent. What inspired you to start writing yourself? Well, I think I was always very creative as a child, mm -hmm. and I have a very vivid imagination. I worked with so many writers for so many years. I helped edit books. Mm -hmm. I helped create stories for other people, and one day I just had a story I had to tell, so I did it myself. <laughs> You're like, I need to tell my story. Yep. And it was something very personal. Your it first was. book, um, yes. Still Living, yes. is a book about your experience that brought you from New York all the way here for a medical reason. Tell us about yes. your husband. My husband was diagnosed with liver cancer and given three months to live. And a doctor in New York said, go and find a liver for your husband. And I had no idea. There's no blueprint f to find a liver and find a transplant. And I did a lot of research, and I discovered Dr. Richard Gilroy at the University of Kansas Hospital who had done a domino transplant. I had read an article at 3 o'clock in the morning on the internet in my office and I read this article and I thought, oh my God, and the people looked great. The, mm -hmm. the recipients were fine and they're wearing jeans and I thought, this is the man who is gonna like save my husband's life. And I called Kansas, sent his records and we flew here. And he did save my husband's life. And he saved his life. Yes, How he, is he doing? Now, he actually helped you with the book. He did help me with the book. He is doing fantastic. Mm -hmm. He's back at work for over a year. He's a social worker in the mm -hmm. South Bronx, helping other people get social services, homeless people and um, uh, drug addicts to go into rehab. Mm -hmm. And he lives a life of service. And he's amazing, and he's very athletic, so that really helped him with his mm -hmm. recovery. But he's back to, you know, working out of weights and running. He loves to run in the park, and it's a miracle. It's an inspiring story that you wanted to share with everyone. I did. I felt like I... I wanted to help people have a guide of some kind of understanding of what they could do because there was nothing that helped me do it. I had to do it myself and I thought my book and Gil's story could help people at least think for themselves, learn how to research themselves, learn how to save their own lives. And it's so wonderful that our hospital here, the University of Kansas Hospital, helps. Because it's a, it's, it has a great reputation. And it's, just, it's, it's the best place in the world. It's, it's it good is. to hear. It is. It's good it to is. hear. It is. Well, your second book, um, first of all, it's so cute. Look at, oh, look at the cover. You. I love it. It's <laughs> the J.M. Barry Ladies Swimming Society. And this, of course, is fictional. This is not based on your life experiences. But you kind of, you kind of drew from your experience while you were here and your husband was getting treatment in Kansas. I did because the main character of the novel goes to a faraway place in England, like where they mm -hmm. filmed Downton Abbey, mm -hmm. and she's rescued by this group of uh, very unlikely women, 80-year-old uh, women who swim every day in a pond, and they help they help her with her life, and they really rescue her from her work workaholism and mm -hmm. her loneliness. And I found that when I was in Kansas, I was rescued by the hospital and the people of mm -hmm. Kansas City. So it was kind of life imitates art, and art imitates life, and I didn't intend it that way but um that w we're two new yorkers who have gone one went to england one came to kansas <laughs> <laughs> i love it and i cannot wait to read the book Thank now you have you. a book signing yes that is coming up so you can actually pick up the book get a signature yes and um which will be a lot of fun it's friday uh tomorrow night at seven o'clock at barnes and noble on the plaza and you brought something which i think is so cute that you're giving away at the book signing. yes well i brought you this is a christmas present for you oh thank you <laughs> and it's a retro bathing cap and I it love is it. just so much fun enjoy thank you. it's hysterical and we are i am giving a draw and giving away several of them to people who come so to the cute. reading well uh i cannot wait to read the books it's still living and the, the j M. Barry Ladies Swimming Society. Go check it out at the uh, signing tomorrow night at the plaza. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much.